to one of our studios and today I am going to show you how to do a Palomino uh, as soon as I actually have pictures. So I am doing this horse as a donation for New Year's Bash Live which is March 4th, 2017. So he is going to be a dappled Palomino so if you don't want yours to have dapples, you can kind of skip over that part and just do the shading. Um, but this one I'm going to put dapples on and do shading as well. So the first color I'm going to use is Burnt Sienna. Um, I do pretty much all of my Palominos in pastel, um, or the majority of their color in pastel anyway. Um, I just can't get the same color with an airbrush that I can in a pastel. These are all pan pastels. Um, they're pretty soft and you don't really have to do anything. You can use other brands of pastels. Uh, the brand doesn't seem to make a huge difference. Um, pan pastels, earth pigments, and I've been told Rembrandts are really good as well. Eat that one. So. First thing I'm going to do on this horse after I clean up my brush, my brush is real dirty. So if you're going to use pastels, you want to make sure that you put something down on your table because it will make a mess. It will get everywhere um, and there's not really anything you can do about it other than cover it up so you have the least amount of mess to clean up. So the only thing I've done on this horse, um, I did airbrush him already. I didn't get a video of it because I was kind of hurriedly doing it. Um, he's been airbrushed, he sat for a few days, he's completely dry now. Um, so the airbrush is kind of, it's unbleached titanium is the color I put on him. You can use pretty much any kind of light cream color on them. Um, as you can see he's kind of a palomino color but not, not very. He's just kind of got the light cream color part of that. So these, I don't know if you can see them, are the references I'm using for him. It's a Peruvian Paso. My model is a stallion, but that one's a mare, so it works. It's okay. So, like I said, the first thing I'm going to do are the dapples. And I have white feet, so I have feet to hold on to. That's the other thing, too. If you work in acrylics, Make sure that wherever you decide to hold them onto is either some place you're going to make markings or it's something that's going to be covered up later or something you can easily match a color to. Because when you sit there and you hold them like this or like this for hours, that paint will come off on your hand um, if it's not sealed. And this horse is not since I'm putting pastels on it. so it will come right off. So what I'm going to do is also a way you can do like dapple grays. Just all you have to do is sit here for dapples and make lots and lots of little circles. So if you don't want to do a dapple palomino, you can skip ahead, skip the dapples all together and just move right on to the shading. The dapples really only take uh, a layer, maybe two, so depending on what color you want. I'm doing a normal palomino, no city on this one, so it will probably only take one layer of dapples. So if you're just wanting a solid color palomino. Feel free, skip ahead right now.
So, dapples on that side, pretty much done. I'm going to come back after I do the other side because this is going to take me forever. And, ta-da, dapples are done. Both sides. Okay, so, now that all the dapples are done, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to spray it with a finish. Um, I use doll coat in between my pastel layers. Um, I think it works pretty well. You can use just about anything though. Um, I like doll coat because it dries fairly quickly. Um, Alright, so now that you have your dapples, or if you chose to skip the dapples, next step... That one's really dark. That's too, but it's not as bad. Alright, so the next step is you're going to take a bigger brush and take your same color. I like to start putting a dark line down the back. And then shading the actual horse itself over the top of the dapples, or just start shading it if you didn't do dapples. And basically, if you watched any of my other videos, you shade it in the same kind of a way. Um, darker towards the butt, um, dark at the shoulder and wither area, and then lighter in the elbow, the flank. Um, in those areas. done with this layer. He's not going to be able to take a whole lot more in. That's kind of the disadvantage of using pastels. You can only put so much on them one time. I'm making progress though.
now his color is just about done. He's got uh, probably about eight or nine layers of color on him right now, but I don't want him to get real dark, um, so I'm just going to leave him there, I think. Um, so now he'll go into markings and details and having his mane and tail done for sure. Um, I'll probably put a couple more layers of black around his eyes and nose with the pastels before I do that. Um, but his color's pretty much done. It just, a lot of layers, a lot of repeating the same colors. Um, good. So I will post a couple more pictures after he has markings and stuff, but pretty much good. So if you like this video, uh, subscribe, like my page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, um, all the links to those are in the description.